Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on Minecraft 1.19 on the Demiurge server. I want to show you some stuff that I built off camera. So let's do that real quick. And for that, I'm going to start off by going to where it comes out into the open meaning above ground and I'm going to close this back off because I don't want mobs going in there and if we come up here we find this large open space and the tree what is it? Not forest, but farm, where I'm growing a bunch of trees. Then if we go this direction, to this side of the trees, this is an entrance down into the caves below, which I have closed off in favor of this one, which I built up while off camera. Now, to do this first, I want to go ahead and do this during daylight. So let me sleep real quick. And then I will show you this craft, the shaft that I created. I started from down there and worked its way up. If we go down to the bottom, which I can do now that I have unprotection for and depth feather falling for. That allows me to drop that far. Saves my life so many times. Also makes it easier getting around. So this is the drop and you might not be able to tell, but we are at 74. We were at 110. So that is a 36 block fall. And if you take this hallway back out, we are almost back where we started from. And there's my giant storage system. This space right here is a space that I laid out and to build a super smelter. It's only going to be these 28-ish blocks or so. And I've been gathering up the materials for that here. Haven't seemed to get around to it yet, but this is my measly connection collection of chickens. They're noisy. So what I want to do is work on this. So to start off, I am going to need some area around it because I want to build a killing slash capturing area right in here. And I'm going to send off the items in that direction. So the that come down here with the hoppers, I will just start by going that way. And then I can move over here. And I'm actually going to need some room to work with, so for now, I think I'll just dig around this. Makes it easier to place these blocks while I'm building it. I can also collect. boxes as need be. So 
this is going to be the area. Now I can put three this way, which of course closes this off. So I'll just close that off, come around here. that we've got a three by uh, three by three nine area block and this will allow me to peel these off and send them someplace else now what I was thinking is that I need the water to come right up to the edge and if I believe water moves seven eight blocks so one two three if I then mine this direction, and I'm going to move that up by one because I need it higher up, and come back here, then I can take these blocks, and these which are the smooth stone, and go, damn, that's not what I wanted to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need more. And we found a hole. Just gonna close that in like that. And we have no water. So let me go out and get water and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have the water that I wanted. So now I will come over here. And I'm going to place a... this dropper and if we place that right there put a water bucket in it go ahead and add these blocks in Well, that was certainly not what I intended, not what I wanted. So I need not a dropper. But a dispenser. And we're back. And I now have a dispenser. Right here. That was the dropper that, of course, was the wrong tool. Did not work. So let's see if I can do this. So I want to place this right there. And I want to fill it with water. And I'm going to go ahead and just remove this stuff from getting in my way. Let's test this. Nope. You've got to be kidding me. Now that's ridiculous. Why would it only flow out one side? 
Okay, I'm not quite I am sure I understood what happened here. And I actually, now that I think about it, want it to cover these. So that means I'm an idiot. Mm hmm. So what do we have here? We have it. It comes out. So I really want three water dispensers. So let me go work on that. We are back and I did some additional troubleshooting. I went ahead and moved these one more back. And they all three have water pockets within them. The redstone simply goes back behind it and the only reason there are glass blocks there is there's some light shining from back there and that helps light this area up some backlighting so to speak and the redstone comes down to here and if we turn it on it stops right there turn it off and it's gone. Now, if mobs fall to here, they should die. But if I turn the water on, they won't die. And I have the option of killing them. So that is the, not the, that is the plan. And we'll have to see how it works next time when I'm still working on this. The idea or the surprise was to then put a, up above this, a space where mobs spawn and they can drop 36 blocks down to here and I will either, they will either die on impact or if I turn the water on, they will not die from impact and then we can go from there I need a lot of buckets quite a few so let's make them now if this is what you like to see please subscribe like and click on the bell so you know when I produce more content and that's all I have for now. So thank you for watching. And goodbye. Oh look, I have a leak.